Rithik Roy Barman, the whole time director of Khadim India is joining us to discuss the outlook of the footwear industry itself and Khadim India going forward. Sir, in the last four years, if we see the revenue growth has been quite flat or four quarters, if we see revenue growth has been quite flattish for the company. What were the challenges that you were seeing? Have those challenges now uh, gone behind? Are you seeing a turnaround? Any guidance if you could give uh, for the future uh, revenue and margin outlook? Yeah, hi, hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you and good afternoon to all the viewers of ET now. Um, uh, what I can say about the demand uh, environment right now is that um, during the festive third quarter, we saw a very good uh, demand where our, both our sales in terms of value and volume had grown. Uh, but currently the demand seems to be a bit muted. Uh, especially in the below 1000 category of products, the demand seems to be a bit muted. The macro environment is also a bit difficult at the moment. And there are some, there were some examinations uh, like of central and uh, state boards that have been going on for the past two months. So it has, the demand has been muted, but in the near future, uh, uh, during the, uh, upcoming festivals like Eid or Holi and other such regional New Year's, we expect the demand to go up. Okay, so demand is a bit muted. So maybe even in Q4, we will see that mutedness continue. But, uh, you know, this uh, demand trend that you're seeing, uh, is it in metro cities or even tier two, three or three cities? How is that trend also anything different on that front and uh, in terms of the demand traction there as well? Uh, no, the, I mean, uh, we have got 864 stores, which are well spread across all the metros, tier one, two, three, four cities. So what we are seeing is during the, uh, du when there is a festival or a wedding season, that time there is some sort of an impetus, but uh, otherwise demand is has been a bit muted. But we are very hopeful that uh, in the near, near future, when the macros become all right, we are ready with all the product ranges in the right price points so that the consumers can uh, come and uh, avail our offerings when the demand scenario improves. And on the margin front, any cost pressures that you're seeing? Like uh, Also, apart from that, we were seeing that your margins could improve around 100 to 100 basis points, right? Because of the demerger. Anything on that front? Yeah, yeah. So uh, as a part of the corporate restructuring, we have uh, we are demerging uh, two of our distinct businesses. Uh, one is uh, the retail business. The other is the distribution business. Uh, retail business will be under the Khadim India Limited and uh, distribution business will be in a new wholly owned subsidiary called KSR Footwear. Yes, of course, uh, after the demerger, the, uh, there should be substantial EBITDA margin improvement in the retail business. While, uh, while in the distribution business, uh, we uh, aim to work in a more focused approach and we'll try to make it EBITDA positive and um, uh, profitable in the near future in the distribution business. The retail business will see a lot of focused, uh, uh, focused approach. We'll get to do... We'll do uh, renovations of our stores. Then we will uh, open strategically in the eastern and southern markets of the country where we are strong. We, we, we plan to open around uh, 25 uh, company-owned outlets and around 70 uh, franchise outlets in the, in the near future. And that will be mainly in the east and the south, which are uh, stronger markets. As well as we aim to uh, we aim to renovate our stores, so these things will help us to have a uh, growth of around ten to twelve percent. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, lastly, before we uh, let you go uh, on the debt front, your call uh, debt to equity stands around one point four. Any plans of retaining any debts? Yeah. So uh, very recently, our debt debt has reduced by around fifteen crores. So uh, we are looking to uh, reduce our debt in the next three, four years. Um, uh, and we'll just keep a substantial amount as a working capital debt for the, uh, I mean, a, a nominal amount as a working capital debt for the, uh, for the operations of the company. So that's the thing about debt. Okay. Uh 
you know, just one more question that I have in terms of I just want to understand a trend that we are talking about is uh, athleisure, sneakers. How is that trend also, you know, in terms of the demand that you're seeing there? Do you think that is a strategy that will continue going forward? And would that be a main focus area for the company? Yeah, surely, uh, as the country is becoming more fitness focused, uh, the athleisure trend remains. We also saw a good uh, growth, good 10 to 12 percent growth in our sports shoes category, be it men's kids or uh, women's sports shoes and we we hope that uh, this trend will continue and um, there are some other trends also in the product other pro eva product categories eva waterproof product categories like clogs it's also doing very well so we are populating that and in any product category there is a there is a uh, trend where the higher price points are uh, doing a little, uh, better than the uh, you know below thousand price points, uh, pointing towards premiumization. But uh, saying that during festive season, we also saw a good recovery of the below thousand uh, below thousand price point products as well. So uh, all of these things should help us to grow in the coming uh, years. Uh, you know, so one, just uh, one more thing is that uh, the timeline for demerger. Any timeline that you could give us on that note as well? Yeah, it should be. Uh, we should be. We are. We are working hard towards completing the demerger. It should happen by uh, six to eight months. Within six to eight months, it should take place. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Berman, for joining in with us on ET Now. It's a pleasure having you on the show. And surely a lot of highlights that we're getting in from the company in terms of the demerger, the growth, and what the trends are coming in in the athleisure segment as well. So that was the management of Kadam India joining in with us uh, on ET Now.